hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you every details on how i achieved this ghana braided wig please stay tuned i'll be right back first of all i sewed my my lace net on the black hair cap I'm going to use for the cornrow just to give it a natural look so that when I'm done with the wig it's going to look as if it's on someone's head by the blink in your stare and if I say to much shiny I might regret it but I'm more in love after sewing I cut out the SS lace from the net and keep it aside I am also going to cut the black net inside so that the lace I sewed will be the only one remaining. But before that, I will first of all mark the lines with my eyeliner to enable me to follow the lines properly. The reason why it's necessary to trace the line, you know, especially as a beginner, is because it's going to help you to know the exact place to start your braiding. Because by the time you cut out the black net, if you are the type that are not too familiar in making this kind of wigs, you will be confused on where to start your cornrows. The extension I'm going to use is Lush product and this black color. That's color one. And for the wig I'm going to make, I'll be cutting it into three. The next thing I'm going to do after cutting it is to pick it and brush it. In my last video, a seven minutes I'll be braiding that I'm going to use a sewing method, which is why I'm using this method today. So what I'm doing is to take my extension, cross it over the rope, divide it into three and start braiding. And I am going to braid everything down like this before sewing it on my net. In case you are the type that find it difficult in crocheting direct to your net, this method is for you. With this method, you can easily make your wig without stressing yourself. The next thing I'm going to do is to start sewing the braided hair on the net. And instead of using crochet needle, I will use my needle and thread. I will first of all tack the braided hair with thread before sewing it together with the net like this. Please watch very closely so that you can understand what I'm doing. After sewing it strong enough, I will tight it and cut it. I will repeat it one more time so that you will understand. You can see the way I attack the thread on the hair first before sewing it together with the net. It is very easy to do. With this, you won't have problem in making your wig. You can use this method in completing your whole wig when you are making bread not through. I think you're slowly coming around. Now I'm barely breathing and my chest is heating up. Oh yes, can you see it? I'm done making all the whole braiding that I need to do at the back. The first step is done. Now the next step is the cornrow. And I have ventilated some hairs already off camera. But don't worry, I'm going to show you all the whole details you need to know about the wig one after the other. This particular side, I'm going to make two steps, just like this one I'm holding. I have already finished this one. And the first step I'm going to make is this inside one here. I'm done with this inside one. I will still cover it with the upper side. Before I start, I need to arrange the hairs down so that it will be easy for me to take when I'm starting the cornrow. So if there is nobody around that can be giving you the hair for you to add, that shouldn't be a barrier for you not to make your wig. The only thing you need to do is to 
look for a comfortable place where you can arrange it just like this now is the time for the corn roll and the type I'm making is feeding corn roll I'm going to start braiding with a small quantity of hair first then increase the volume of the hair as I go barely breathing and my chest is heating up cause I get this feeling when you're near me and I know it's like find the freedom casting demons from my soul and I I'm adding more hairs just to get up to the length that I want. Can you see how short this hair is? This is the reason why I weave them down initially. When I finished ventilating the hairs, my little girl started cutting it in the name of three minutes for me. <laughs> she was at work at my own expenses. Please, I want to say a big thank you for my returning viewers. Thank you also for my subscribers. And if today is your first time of coming across my channel, you are highly welcome. Please, don't forget to click on that red subscription box below this video to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Also click on the notification bell so that you can be notified each time I post a new video. Send me your comment in the comment section below. Just like I always say, your contribution means a lot to me. So you scream my calls just to try and be cautious. The reason why I ventilated the hair straight is because I'm making a straight coral. If I am to make a cuff corn roll, I will ventilate it according to the way I want to do it. This is the side I'm going to put my C cuff pattern, and I have already marked this line. Remember, I marked this line before cutting out the black net under this lace, but it will be too done if I am to put my part there, which is the reason why I mark one extra inch, which is number eight. The whole measurement of the front tie is 12. Why the first line I mark before cutting out the black net is 9. That is him measuring from the right to the left. Let me show you what I mean. Please, when measuring a front on a dummy head, make sure you measure from ear to ear so that after making the wig, it will enter somebody's head. You can see that the center here is 6. Then after 7, you see 8 which is where I'm going to put my party. Now let me use the tape on my own head. Look at it properly. Check out the number six from my center head there. See where number one reach me on top of my ear. That is why if it's on a dummy head, you need to measure from ear, not on top of the ear. I mean the beginning of the dummy's ear. So that after the braiding, the wig will be able to fit someone's head. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell below so that you can be notified when I will post the continuation of this video. See you next time. Bye bye.